bit. Nothing's off the table. I'm more interested in what's happening under the table. Do you think they were sleeping together when they shot this? I can't believe after Mitch, she's still pulling this shit. Okay, I don't think it's exactly the same thing. Did you see the picture? Embarrassing. All right, you guys, listen up. Um, I just have to say that no matter what goes on in my personal life, nothing here in our day-to-day -day at TMS is gonna change. So we don't have time for bullshit or gossip. Did Alex talk to you since last night? No. What about Paul? He's in Texas right now. He's making moves. Yeah, seems like everybody is. I think something's going on at Hyperion, something that Paul wants to keep quiet. Can you be more specific? If Paul wants to sleep with Alex, so be it. If he wants to sell their news as NFTs, as long as she consents, I don't care. His stunts don't matter. His moves don't matter. His money matters. So we are going to close this deal, no matter what. Yeah, well, that's not good enough. This is your job, Chip. If NBN is trying to convince people not to touch me, it is your job to unconvince them. I get it, Alex, but I just... Is that gonna be a problem? I mean, it's not happening. I am not putting out a statement about Paul this week. I get it, Alex. It sucks, okay? But this is Paul Marks. It's not some rando from Riot. We're closing the deal next week, okay? Th this is a story you have to get ahead of. You know this. I cannot be the story that distracts from the actual how much shit is Alex taking? When you lose focus, the mission suffers. Well, I think my focus is just fine. I was beginning to worry. You've been smiling a lot. It unnerves me. You take care of your end. I'll take care of mine. Corey, you're very funny, but what the hell am I supposed to do? You you want to you want to pull the the reaction shot, turn Alex into a robot? I mean, come on, everybody's gonna know we fucked with the edit. It's well, <laughs> someone fucked. You know, Alex should be here. She has final cut. Okay, yeah, I'll talk to her. Please remember that you and me and every other warm-blooded Alex Levy fan watching this interview knows that they end up in bed together. You cut that casting couch dig and the abandoned husband routine. We can. Ratings go. How are things? If you're gonna tell me that I should have kept it in my pants, then. <laughs> no, 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 no. So, Chip and I, we just uh, recut your interview with Paul in light of the recent revelation, so I want you to have a look at it when you have a chance. Yeah, um, I don't need to take a look. We have a shareholder vote on the deal, and your little makeout session with the prom king is creating a massive perception problem. So pulling the interview that you insisted on and that we have hyped relentlessly. Sorry, no, we can't. My mother has instilled in me the belief that uh, what a woman chooses to do with her body, that is her business. Yeah, which is exactly why gossip about my private life should be off the table. And I will need to take a look at that edit. You are on the verge of getting everything you ever wanted out of this place. Power in your own right, and you choose instead to be the girlfriend, the plus one. Don't forget to shut the door on your way out. Hey. Why are you up? Well, what are you doing up? I've got an engine test in a few hours. Everything okay there? I just wanted you to know that I had to pull our interview so I could focus on SCOTUS. Okay. You don't think that dodges the issue? Yeah. Too late. That issue is already everywhere. Everybody's just fucking whispering and gossiping and it's just maddening. It's so maddening. I'm sorry. I'm assuming none of that's happening where you are? No. No, it isn't. Look, if you're having second thoughts about this. If you want to pump the brakes. No, no, no. Of course I don't. I just, you know. Yeah, I know. Me too. Levy, you need to sleep. Someone's got to tell the people about all the shitty things happening in the world. Trigger laws wait for no one. I gotta go. Okay. Bye. Bye. I'm sorry, but if a reporter hooks up with a billionaire who is buying her media company, people are going to ask questions. Is she actually capable of speaking truth to power? You know that I'm not the news this week, nor is UBA or Paul Marks. But you did just prove my point. The story is whatever you decide it is, you and Paul Marks. To be frank, I did not want to talk about my private life this week. I did not want to distract from the actual news. She obviously came here to fuck with me and get more clicks for her blog, and you didn't catch up on that in the pre-interview? I don't know. I think she raised some issues that, frankly, honestly, people are curious about. I find it a little hard to believe you couldn't see that coming. Boy, you're unfucking believable. Hey, don't put 
put this on me. You okay. set yourself up for this, okay? Oh, I did. Okay. Yes, you refused to put out a statement and you fucking pulled the interview. An interview that you edited behind my back. Yeah, because you wouldn't listen to anybody. Send in Doug, I come in, Corey comes in. You refuse to speak to any of us. Oh, right, the three wise men. Oh. I'm sorry, my bad, got it. Oh, you know what, two years I've spent of my life building this show, it turns out all it takes is one negligent producer. Uh, you would not just... have a show if it wasn't for me, okay? Uh, Alex Unfiltered was my idea. Okay. I rebrand you, I do it over and over again. You fucking lucky that I do, because guess what? Anything good that comes along, you just light a little fire and explode it oh, right I away. See, sure You're I sleeping do. with the boss, by the way. It only works with those. Mitch was not my boss. Yeah, he was everybody else's. Okay. Said the guy who I walked in on fucking my assistant in my very own home. Well, great. You fixed that. You don't have to deal with that anymore because you fucked it up too. Congratulations. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I can't do this anymore. You're fired. Come, Alex. Come on. Get out. Just so you know, um, you know, I never had COVID. I came into your apartment, I saw you crumpled up on the floor, and um, I did what I always do, you know, I rescued you. I guess you don't need that anymore, and neither do I. Yeah. How about uh, don't concern yourself with my personal life? Hey, you want the fucking talent, go right ahead, but rolling up here like this, don't fuck the deal. Or what, you'll leave? You think this is gonna be easy, don't you? You greenlight a couple shows, you come a couple of premieres, and then you fuck back off to your little desert lair. You will need my counsel. And uh, I don't know, that attitude of yours, I don't know where I'll be. And when it all goes south, I don't see Alex to goodbye. It's interesting, you, you talk a lot about Alex, but she doesn't really ever mention you. You okay? Oh boy, looks like you had as good a week as I had. Something like that. Yeah, it was a total shit show, honestly. It's just not looking good. Oh God, I'm so sorry. What about you? Well, my colleagues don't think that I can do my job and be with you at the same time. It's ridiculous. And I fired Chip. Oh, mm -hmm. well. And I've just been sitting here thinking, you know, maybe it's time. Maybe it's just time I finally leave this place. I don't want to have anyone over there anymore. And it just doesn't feel like a home anymore. I don't know. I just don't think it's worth saving. I'm sorry. This is not what you wanted to hear. What if? We went in a different direction. What do you mean? The big thing about UBA is this long-term investment pays off for 10, 15, 20 years down the line, but it doesn't really make any sense anymore. You know, you're not happy. I'm going to need to start throwing a ton of money at Hyperion very soon. What if we sell? Sell UBA? Right after the deal goes through, then we start over from the ground up. We build something new on our terms, centered on news, exactly the way we want it. You're serious. You have been wanting to run things for a long time. Maybe you start right now.